look for deals. Yeah, I, that's why I got mine. I got paid 50 bucks for this one. Offer up, baby. I don't really like this camera, though. <laughs> I just want to get this script out real quick. I, I just want to get this. Isaiah 13 and 16. Your children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Your houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. Great. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but that's going to happen, though, when that, when the shit hits the fan. I mean, you're going to have, yeah, it's going to be nasty out here. What do you think will happen when somebody, there ain't no food out here. Some ro runs up in your house looking for food. They're going to they gonna shoot the kids. The, the, they're going to rape the women. They're going to kill the kids. They're going to kill the men. You know what I mean? And they're going to take everything you've got. As simple as that. What's, well, the, what's the professional sports they have here? Just soccer? They got, they got hockey, too? hockey. Yeah, hockey. They got the, uh, the Blue Jackets. Yeah. Okay, yeah. these rich motherfuckers got money, man. Now, that yeah. time drop off. People know they got money, man. Oh, they yeah. gonna go after these people with money, man. They now, start. Nigga, I know you got it. Cause you know how during, during the riots and protests, people always complain, "Why y'all riot in your own neighborhood, burning shit down?" Yes, yeah. But Jake's starting to get smart. They starting to go to the rich neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what the fuck they. Like do. in St. Louis, they went to the mayor's house. Yeah, yeah. Break that bitch. <laughs> You know that mayor was terrified, oh, boy. He wasn't there. Oh, he wasn't even there. No, he wasn't even there. He boy, even you there. know if he was there, well, they he still was... got their ass beat for doing it, though. But these motherfuckers that got money, man, they know they got money. They go, they go lay them down, man. Like when they go run into Michael Jordan, they know they got motherfucking uh, basement food. They probably got a basement pantry, man. Yeah, food, all kind of food. Right, right. Food Weapons players, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond yeah. Trader, they gonna, about they gonna yeah. get him. Yeah. Oh, I got some Jordans. The Lord will put the spirit on these people. Two thirds of these people, he's oh, yeah, they the and to and go out like, and eat. No, oh, you know, they ain't gonna have no like, choice because there ain't gonna be no food here. around here. <laughs> they ain't got no they choice. They're like, shit, we can't leave these. You know? in here, when you back somebody in the corner, man, it's gonna go out there with what? It's gonna be men and women. I can't wait to them blood off of boy. Man, they already do that in Houston. But get them second as a 15? Yeah, they order too. Our military is stressed in, fighting wars everywhere else. Yes. I'm here. NATO's going to come here. See, what you probably don't know is that the main majority of our military is actually right here in this country. We got the, the police officers, we got the state police, we got the National Guard. We got way more police in this country than we got at any given well, time. There's more, more people out, out, out more here. There's more people down. Yeah, there's more people that are yeah. protecting this place. You see, the biggest threat to any country is an external invasion. It's actually a lower class revolution. And they've been preparing for this for quite some time. You're right. They just start the yeah. National yeah. Guard training to kill civilians. The National Guard is there to kill you. They ain't there to save you. That's right. That's You're right. Katrina That's happened. Right. They didn't go down there to save nobody because they had nothing to do. When they did go down there, they went down there to protect the property. They went down there with guns to kill anybody if they were stealing something. That's what they went down there. They went down there. Last days, everybody right. got their own plan. Yeah. Okay? But their last days, the angels will make sure everybody's plan don't go as planned. Right. See what I'm saying? Well, I'm so these motherfuckers are gathering, they're gonna get together, want to kill the niggas to come. But they gonna be worried about killing they gonna be worried about each other. Let me tell you something. Yeah. It's they ain't really that much worried about black people, okay? Right? They, go on to, they use us to keep the poor white people from overthrowing the government. You know what would really upset this whole thing? If we got up and left, okay? They would be there. The only thing they'd have right uh, left is to fight their own self. And they would just be just like over in England. They would be just like over in, in uh, uh, Russia. Russia and Syria, they fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Russia and Slovenia and all the other, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, 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 they fight. They would be the same thing here. You know, 
up, because poor white people, they starting to wake up. You know, they might have voted for Donald Trump, but some of them are starting to wake up, and they starting to make <laughs> the problem in <laughs> black people. It's like, like some white people. I ain't seen the problem. You know, right. That's the more Donald up. Trump run his mouth, the more <laughs> obvious it is that the man is crazy. You don't see so all we got to do is stay out the way and let them destroy the Elsa. You know what these, most of these poor white people, they're racist as hell. They're going to die. You just walked away from it. Because, like, usually if you, if you are that destructive or that man, oh, and somebody is that equally as bad, you know what I'm saying? They think he's going to save America or to flee America. Somebody's going to be out there. Somebody's going to get the bullet. Somebody's going to get the bullet. Sometimes it'll be another group that might like get the bullets that got to root each other that they took it each other. So you might be the weak person that walked away or ran from them, but eventually you're going to run into his man. Mm -hmm. you know? well, sometimes you don't have to fight. Sometimes you can just walk away. You look at, you look at Moses uh, uh, walking up by the At least that particular street. I'm not going to tell you what you're going to do. I'm going to take that down. Street. They didn't tell them to stay there and fight for their work. They just said, let's leave, okay? You know Sometimes it's good to just walk away from something. Sometimes you ain't got to fight. But, but you're right, that's a good point because there will be a second exodus is in the scripture. Yeah, and we can just make an exodus but, out but, of But we're going... You, uh, like you in the Bible, you can... That, that being inherited the whole earth. If, if, we, if the whole earth is my home, why do I need to stay here and fight? Well, you, you, go, you go to Mexico, what? same shit gonna happen down Well, let me ask you a question, though. No what did the Lord do to... Uh, we got the whole earth. We got Africa to go to. We don't have the earth. We got Africa to go to. What, what, what did the Lord do? What happened to Egypt before Israel left, though? What happened when the Israelites left? The Pharaoh came chasing after him. He's like, you ain't going nowhere. But what I'm saying, though, and what happened... Some of us wanted to go back. Yeah, yeah. You can't just leave. It ain't that easy. That's when, what, when slavery ended, there was some black people that was the house Negro that didn't want to leave Master South because he was comfortable with the Master South. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to have to get out there and fend for himself. He's going to go to Africa. Because that's safe there. over there. That's what he said. They control the whole earth, man. So that's what the same thing gonna happen to America. The Lord gonna bring destruction, and then we gonna actually we're gonna get beamed up by the chariots, by the spaceships. So these prophecies are real. That's good. I'm out here trying to fuck that head up. Nigga, deceive your ass with everything and anything, but the Most High don't lie. He can't lie. You send an angel down to deceive you. How you, how you read something but you don't believe it? You might as well just don't believe that at all. Basically, that don't even make sense. Right, but so. the thing is with these people, they don't understand. They can't comprehend the level of destruction that's coming. Man. But like, let me just read you. Like, like our history books, man. I don't believe nothing in our history books that they tell you, man. I don't, I'm, this is the book I believe in, right the bat. You go through the whole time at uh, uh, grade school, first through twelfth grade, they don't mention the Bible not once. But that's part of history, though. It's part of history. You see your boy. You learn about Buddha. You so, learn about every it, You learn about Egypt. You learn about the Battle of Troy. And that's all mythological stories, but they leave the Bible out. Here you go. Habakkuk 1 and 5. Behold ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe, though it be told to you. Yeah, so when the Lord come back out to heavens, y'all ain't gonna believe that, man. No, they don't believe it now. No, they don't believe it. How it's gonna happen. How he's gonna come. They don't believe it now. Like your boy say he's gonna leave. You can't just leave. Where you gonna go? First of all, to even get out of the country, you gotta have a passport. They ain't letting you go nowhere. You're going to a detainment center. You go right, right. It, let's say you do make it to Africa. As <laughs> soon as you get out the boat, they, they beating the shit out of you. Yeah, beating the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> you go from... 
one bullshit to another bullshit. The, the white man controls Africa. Hey, 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 hey honey, that, that, that nigga ready? <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> Get a little salt. Like everybody, I'm gonna move out of Ohio up to another state. It's gonna be safer. This is this a site of Core TV or some on the cover of the whole thing, the whole thing. It's a fine ass mobile tied to a rotisserie. It's a thing going through her mouth and her legs is tied up. That's fucked up. And she's on a rotisserie, man. That's a sick ass sight, man. I had to get off of it. I just couldn't do it no more, man. You want to talk about the terror of the Lord, man. Whoa. Whoa. They got trucks to them. Tried to stop, but they, on their brakes, they grinded the bodies. To, they, they shredded the body. And it was just meat and blood. You didn't even know it was a body, man. Oh. Trains that beheaded people and cut people in half. And they got videos of this shit. Oh. I don't have a whole strong stomach to keep watching that shit. But we're gonna get bloodthirsty in the spirit of going else. We ain't gonna hold back the sword, man. We're gonna get mad if we can't find a few. But they can't understand the, the level of, of, of terror that the Most High is bringing, man. Everybody's plans is gonna fall the fuck apart. Mom is gonna kill Daddy. Uh, Daddy gonna kill his daughter to eat, eat her. You know, uh, that, that nigga Jim Bob, or that nigga Daquan, that nigga, uh, 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 that nigga Dog, he gonna cut his own arm off and eat it. People feel comprehended, man. Ah, shit. It's the terror of the Lord, man. People think we're playing, man. Come on, man. Just come up here just to, we're not performers. We're not out here performing. It's like 2nd Ezra 15, 37. It says, And there shall be great fearfulness and trembling upon earth, and they that see the wrath shall be afraid, and trembling shall come upon them. Shit start hitting the fan, man. It's gonna, be a, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a bunch of shit going down, but the end of the war, man, we're gonna, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be strong, man. Try to prepare y'all like uh, Noah was doing. Yeah, y'all ain't believe Noah when Noah was out there to try to wake y'all up. Can't so, believe Noah, yeah. So yeah. when these missiles come, the Most High ain't gonna save y'all from your destruction. So this is Isaiah 9 and 18. For wickedness burnt as the fire. They shall devour the briars and thorns and shall kindle in the thickets of the forest. And they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened. And the people shall, and, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. <laughs> no man shall spare his brother. They'll be faggots. The people shall be fuel for the for the fire. So each per each one of two thirds is like you know each one of one third. You're a brick. You're a brick. We all make a uh, building. The two thirds are like logs for the fire. That's right. That's right. That's right. If we make up the church. They make up that fire. Like I was telling the dude, man, everybody's plans is not going to go as planned, like I said. Nothing ever goes according to the plan. No man shall spare his brother. And he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry. And he shall eat on the left hand. And they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that one story we read not too long ago. When uh, Jerusalem was besieged by the Babylonians. And a woman and two women made an agreement that they was going to eat their ch children. <laughs> and they was like, we'll eat my child today. The next day, we'll eat yours. So the first day, they ate one child. And then the second day, the other woman hid her child. <laughs> and then she even went and told the king about it, I think. The righteous king. He knew what was up. It's like, well, let's, let's cut the child in half. You take one and you take the other. You know the real mother. She, she don't want that child to die, man. Yeah. So she, you know? So he knew just by the response of both women. Common sense. I got a scripture too. Um, Baruch 2 and 1. Therefore